Many governments come in and come out, come in and come out, and I never get a piece of land. So now I decide, well, I want to come, come, take one piece. And now this is the problem. The problem that Elias Pech is referring to is the controversy that has perpetuated for over a decade, where people who need land and housing have squatted in the Kruman Lagoon, purportedly on land that is privately owned. The landowner is believed to be the one behind blocking the entrance to the road that leads to their homes, while Deputy Mayor Alan Pollard intervened and had the boulders removed, the problem still exists. The squatters have nowhere to go and have built their lives around the location they have called home for years. I have my business here, yeah? so I help and I have my three kids in school, so I can move because I don't have nowhere to go. And if this place does it for the government, we could buy a little piece. Only for make, make, we have we house. I'm 53 years old. I born and grew up in Belize. Okay. And I'm entitled to a piece of land. Have you tried to apply to get a piece of land? Over and over. Okay. And? No. no. Just fruitless. Area representative for Collet, Patrick Faber, blames the problem on his PUP opponents and went on to point out that the area where the squatters reside is a flood-prone area. Unbeknown to me, there was some settlement with Jack Charles and there was, um, they allotted him uh, legally um, the, the, por the, the portion of the land that actually extends into the lagoon without consultation with me as the, as the area. area rep. And I made known my position then. So if you ask me, even the portion that Jack Charles is now claiming that is not on the periphery of the highway and extends back into the lagoon should never have been distributed. And my position as it relates to persons who continuously squat on the lagoon, that is not a safe place to be. And as the air representative, while I have not led a campaign to remove those people for obvious reasons, I cannot and have never supported them staying there. But while the area is a hazard zone for the squatters, we gathered from those who assembled at the road entrance that a significant number of them are reluctant to move. If you get the chance to own a house, own a piece of land, but it's not in this area, you would have to relocate. Would you be willing to do that? Well, it's a lot of money for move, mommy. We can't move the little old houses where we have right there. So you're not willing to relocate? Oh. What is it that you're asking for then? I can't say, well, everybody has to come together and say what we can do. What Deputy Mayor Pollard and the City Council have done is to begin talks with international funding agencies to explore the possibility of getting assistance to address the problem. Pollard says there is also a committee set up to look at the issue. We have to look at it and say, all right, what's the way forward? Will we do relocation? Will we do... What will it be? What will the area be designated for? Is it going to be a natural catchment area? Will, it be, will there be a plan in place to alleviate flooding and have it mixed with um, residential? What is the plan forward? But that needs to firstly be identified. But how long will that take? It's been years already. If this man owns this land, is it also fair to keep him from developing his land and opening um, his own business? I agree it's been years, but it has been years under previous administration. Right? Our administration is a fairly young administration and uh, we understand the, the situation at Lands Department with all the backlog. But from my understanding, there is a committee already established who is looking at these particular subjects. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.